said, I keep hearing noises. Got my headlamp out. So Tony here, Random Adventures 2.0, and yes, that's my stroke hand. It's getting better. Stretch, stretch them fingers. All right. So it is about 5:55 right now, and we are. Well, this is a random adventure again. <laughs> All right. So everybody, say hi to Emma. <laughs> Emma's driving me now. Lisa doesn't know it's a Friday night. She's working, and I thought rather than sit at home, I would go stealth camping. <laughs> right so I will let her know when I'm there all set up uh, she doesn't get off till about midnight so it gets home around 1 o'clock in the morning but we'll already be way into it uh, by then all right so here we go I'll let you know where we're gonna be when we get there See ya. Alrighty, so here we are at the uh, cemetery, Mount Carmel Cemetery. Um, so we just drove all the way around and I saw these two trees behind me here. Uh, well, three trees. Uh, so we're going to set up there. But first we're going to say goodbye to Emma. Everybody Bye. say goodbye, Emma. Good See luck. ya. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. All right. So here we go. We're going to watch her drive away. All right. See ya. Bye. Tomorrow morning, right? Okay. Eight o'clock. There goes my ride. Alrighty, so there she goes. The, uh, I think we're gonna call the Hummer um, Sunny. So there goes Emma driving Sunny, the yellow Hummer. I know there's a lot of debate still on the name, Buttercup or something like that, but I, I'm kind of liking Sunny. All right, so this is our spot. So. Got quite a few tombstones around. Now we're going to hook up a hammock uh, and we're going to do it right inside of these three trees. Now I guess these are old arbovides. Similar to a cedar, but I don't believe these are cedar. I think these are old arbs and they they are very old because uh, let's take a look out here. Now I thought this was very interesting. So Singleton, so we got Mary J. Singleton uh, we're going to be sharing facility with and then also Hiram and Catherine. Now, 1849, it was the dad, Watson is the last name, but I don't know why there is only a birth and not a death. So. 1875 1933 and we got an 1849 uh, with uh, he hasn't passed away yet so that would be 1949 would be a hundred years so he's about 180 180 right now hope he doesn't show up uh, in the cemetery but we're tucked back here in the back corner so we've got 1934 1922, 1902, around us, uh, howls. Uh, but here I'm kind of feeling good about this spot. 
Let me show you why. Walk over here. So, sun coming through the trees. So we got Crest. 1873, 1922, 1937. So, that's the one family plot here. All right. So, let's figure this out. I got to get my backpack off and get, get some of this stuff... Uh, taken care of and see if we can get our home set up for the night. All right. So we have, um, hammock with a bug net we've got our under quilt here I don't know how um, cold it's gonna get it's gonna get down to about 60 tonight I might need that under quilt but I brought my other backpack or my other uh, hammock which is a hacked pack unavailable anymore you can't get these anymore uh, this was given to me by a friend all right so we got to get our straps. All right, I don't know if you can see it back there, but we got a car coming around. So I'm just gonna hang tight here for a second. The rest of this hand up. It's going right by right now, yeah. So I'm just uh, admiring the trees, right? <laughs> so it's still going. Yep. Okay. I think that was close. I don't know. Um, I don't know what they saw or what they didn't see. Hopefully, they'll just keep going. Not circle back around. Bring it back on a second. All right, so that car is down there. It's making a loop. I'm just gonna go ahead and string this up. If they stop and they ask, well, I'll talk to them, but I gotta get set up before it gets too dark. Alrighty, this is going to be really hard to show you both ends here, but my feet's at that end, my head's at this end. we got a tombstone next to me, but I want to show you this view up between these trees. So this is our view tonight. So we're going to, hopefully it doesn't get too clouded that we aren't able to see that. But I am thinking about going ahead and hanging my uh, tarp because the tarp, it's supposed to rain tonight. Boy, if, we, if it didn't rain, boy, that would be beautiful. Really, really, really. All right, so I think what I gotta do is get the tarp out. That's gonna be next on the agenda. Get out of the bag. Go ahead and put it right there. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do is I've got my uh, tarp in here. We're gonna go ahead and get that out, this bag, and get that put up because it is gonna rain tonight. 
Oh, there goes a cat. Alrighty, alrighty, so we are all set up over there. The only thing I don't like about this spot is that uh, paper factory right there. And that noise, I sure hope that stops at some point. But we're getting a nice uh, sunset over there through the trees. Ah, oh, man. And the wind is definitely picking up. I know my tarp is flapping in the wind. So let's, uh, I'm not too stealthy here. The only thing stealthy about this spot is I'm towards the back of the cemetery. And that's about as stealthy as it gets. It says Pena around here. But there's another set of trees up that way that I think would have worked. But I like this group of three. Um, so there we are set up in amongst. We're going to be joining the Watsons tonight and also the Singleton family. And we are set up right there in between. All right, sunset's going down. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to put the under quilt on. I mean, I'm in a t-shirt right now. It's starting to get a little, little chilly, but I don't know. I've got it ready. I can throw it on at any time. I just don't wanna do it in the middle of the night, pitch black. <laughs> I'm not sure if I wanna get out of the hammock when it's pitch black. Uh, we're not too far past the uh, blood moon that we had the other night. Uh, so I don't think uh, we're going to have a full moon or anything. Uh, but ooh, that, wouldn't that be interesting? Yeah. It's, it's nice. It's uh, relaxing with the exception of that factory. All right. So I'm going to take a break, have a seat, uh, maybe... Uh, get my pack situated I think I'm gonna put my rain cover on my pack but let me just show you this is the hammock we're tied to this one over here it runs down and like I said this is a different hammock than what I've used in the past this one was given to me along with a backpack by a co-worker I told her she would see it in a in a video one day so here it is <laughs> all right so we got our tarp pretty snug i am hooked to this branch and then that branch with my lead lines i'm thinking if it gets too windy i'll just drop those straight down to the ground uh to give me some protection because it looks like the wind is blowing from that direction right into the tarp you can see it bowed here um well, you know what? Let me just walk around and look what, see what the other side looks like. Oh. All right. Oh. All right. We're in 1907. We have some old sites right in here. But this is the tree. All right. Several of them. our site there it's gonna walk out oh there's some uh, really nice buttercups um, flower that's neat some wild flowers there May 1900 1832 November C Civil War oh wow let's Jacob Rhodes. Let me just turn this around. Huh. It was a uh, regiment of PA infantry in the Civil War. 1832 to May 4th, 1900. Wow. Boy, that's pretty amazing. Huh. All right. So I'll get over here. 
So there we are, set up. Set up over there. Very nice. Nice spot. Like I said, I can't wait for that thing to shut off. Hopefully it does. If not, we're going to hear that humming all night. <laughs> uh, no, not good. <laughs> all right. Okay, I get back. Before it gets too late, oh, I don't want to flip out a hammock before I even get night gets started. Uh, but great place to sit and do. Uh, hey, look what I found! A 24 ounce Yingling Lager, <laughs> oldest brewery in the United States, <laughs> in America. Um, but Yingling, not too far. If you haven't checked out my Yingling Brewery tour uh, video, go check that one out. <laughs> got to plug them videos right all right so I am gonna have this uh, sit here uh, relax hopefully that noise gets goes away over there uh, but it's starting to get a little dark you can't tell it in the camera too much but I am not gonna cook anything to eat tonight because I ate before uh, I came out I wasn't planning on coming out and camping but you know random adventures <laughs> i was sitting there and i thought i think i'd like to go camping <laughs> so here i am uh emma ran me to uh the store and i picked up one 24 ounce lager to enjoy that this evening uh and i already have my bag packed so here we are she dropped me off took off and uh she won't be back until tomorrow morning and um I do have a uh, dehydrated meal, actually scrambled eggs that I'm gonna make in the morning, uh, but I'm not hungry tonight. I do have some chocolate. We'll break that out uh, a little bit later. Might make a cup of coffee, not sure yet. Uh, not sure how this evening's gonna go, but without further ado, <laughs> I'm gonna give us a crack. Ooh, pretty good. All right, so Yingling Lager. Uh, I'm not sponsored by Yingling yet. <laughs> I do like their black and tans, and you'll you'll hear that on my tour. But the uh, Yingling Lager, uh, I've been known to enjoy these as well. In fact, my March um, solo hammock trip, uh, the one that was two days before the stroke that I had. Now, it's about 56 days since I had the stroke. Um, so my right side, the arm and the leg, uh, recovering very well, very well. Still, st st still a struggle, but recovering very well. Thank the Lord. <laughs> That's a good beer. Yingling Lager. Last year when we were doing trail magic, this is the beer that we had. This in flight, I think um, the white one, it's called Flight, made by Yingling. Uh, that's another good one. Uh, we, we had that uh, when we were doing trail magic as well. Yeah, wind is definitely pick picking up. Boy, the roots of that tree, very interesting, kind of spooky looking a little bit. Let me show you that real quick. Yeah, so see all the roots, how they're, uh, I guess uh, when this used to be a trunk here as well, there was dirt that collected in the center of the uh, trunks and it, I guess, just rooted. And those roots run down. 
but that looks kind of spooky. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So I got my puffy jacket for later. We'll put that on later tonight. Like I said, I got that under quilt as well. I think I might put that on just to get it out of the way now. Yeah, let me do that. Right, it's 822 it's getting windy um, I went ahead and put my rain uh, cover on my pack that's the Osprey uh, rain cover so I'm gonna lay that directly underneath uh, the hammock there so I'm set up over there with my stove and coffee and that chocolate bar uh, some other stuff there at the bottom of the roots uh, like my jacket there's another hammock so eh, got another hammock <laughs> all right so it is, like I said, 822. The sun's almost down. I am all set up uh, with the hammock. I'm ready to go to bed. Um, oh, wow. Oh, very nice. There's one of those painted rocks uh, left on the top of this one. Uh, so 1902, 1920. All right. Hey, we'll just take a walk around the cemetery here. Boy, there's a lot of tombstones. So I don't know if they lock the gate at night to keep people from coming in at night. I know that gate that we drove in didn't really have a time on it, uh, but yeah, the sky's beautiful. Yeah, spin around. That factory's still going. Went way over there. So that group of trees right there is where our hammock is. Yeah. So this is where we're sleeping. In the middle of the cemetery. I do want to say that they are keeping up on the grass, mowing it. And it looks like they're weed eating around the tombstones as well. So this is a very well-kept cemetery. You know, there's some that are pretty much abandoned. This one's not. This one's not yet. Okay, check it out. Yeah. Huh. It's a ramp here. Let's go ahead and walk up in here. Yeah, I don't know what this building's for. The windows are fogged out, really can't see in them. But yeah, there's an old wasp nest. Yeah. Some of the uh, tombstones have uh, lights. That is, it's getting darker. I can see one coming on down there. It's probably one of them solar lights. I don't know what tonight's going to be like. You know, I'm not sure. It's going to be interesting. That's for sure. But it is getting dark. I don't want to say that I'm not afraid at all. <laughs> I'm a little hesitant. Uh, not sure if this is a great idea or not. Uh, don't know what to expect. But whatever happens, happens, right? <laughs> it's always an adventure. Yeah.
Okay, here we are. So we're, I had to get the old light, old bulb out, and I've got it on high. So we'll set that somewhere where it doesn't wash me out completely. But hey, I got chocolate. <laughs> so this is a um, farmhouse salty seashore caramel. Yeah, so uh, it's hard to see. But there you go. I'm going to open this. I'm going to have some of this uh, before we hit that. Hit the hammock for the night because who doesn't love chocolate? All right. So just a big shout out to Stealth Camping Alliance, um, all my Stealth Camping Alliance friends uh, and members uh, of Stealth Camping Alliance. If you haven't checked it out, go on over to Facebook, type in Stealth Camping Alliance, uh, become a member, and just start watching videos and liking all the guys like Squib and uh, Hidden Hammock, uh, Weed in the Bush. Um, so lots lots of guys out there, simple simple um, outdoors. Um, there's too many for me to name right off the top of my head, but um, go over, check it out. It's on Facebook, Stealth Camping Alliance. All right, so salute. Uh, Camp with Bune from uh, Belgium. Uh, he had sent me some Belgium chocolate. You know, this is the same chocolate that I'm having right now that I had in that March uh, challenge. I just heard a noise. Like I said, we're in a cemetery. Weird noises uh, kind of get you a little freaked out. But uh, we'll just keep going. So Belgian chocolate, this isn't, but two days before my stroke, I actually had the same type of chocolate bar. Uh. All right, so we're all done with our chocolate. Got my old light old bulb. So we're getting under uh, under our tarp here. So yeah, I'm hearing all kinds of crazy noises. It's gonna be a little weird out tonight just because I'm in a cemetery, right? Ooh, uh, but well, we got our hammock. So I'm probably going to go ahead and climb on in here and, and hit the hay for tonight. It's about 10 o'clock. I will check back in in a little while. All right. Talk to you soon. All right. So I'm hearing a lot of noises. I'm not sure if this is such a great idea being out here. Man, it's really, uh, sp really spooky. So I've got this, uh, I'm between these two, uh, Tombstone's got the hammock set up back there still. All right, but it is pitch black and it's about 1130 at night. So I'm going to climb back into the hammock here in a minute, but I hear a lot of noise that I can't put my finger on what they are. Yeah, it got me a little freaked out. All right, well, I'll talk to you in a bit. All right. Like I said, I keep hearing noises. Got my headlamp out. Just walk out of here a little bit. Give a good shine around. I'm not seeing anything, but spin you around. Here's the hammock. Here's where we're at. And get back in the hammock and lay back down. All right, talk to you in a bit. All right, it's about one o'clock in the morning. One one thirty. I think it's it was one fifteen a couple minutes ago. 
but I heard a noise. I got up. I turned my headlamp on. Now this is the old light, old bulb. But I turned my headlamp on. I got it off now. But I shined it out that way, and I saw eyes looking back at me. And uh, I think it was a cat. I think there's a cat that I saw earlier is out there. At least I hope it was a cat, but they were small eyes, you know, they were, it's not like, but um, there was a bear in the area um, not too long ago on this road. So, I don't know. I, I yeah, still a little freaked out. All right, I'm going to lay it back down. All right, guys, it's about uh, 2.45 in the morning. I got this top filled on. I'm nice and toasty. Got my puppy on. Uh, this hammock's doing real good. Real good. Plenty of room. Plenty of room in here. Nice. Very comfortable. So I've got that other hammock. I'm using that for a pillow. Yeah. All right. I'm going to get some more shell eye. All right. See you in the morning. Yeah, the camera's picking it up a little bit. Uh, can you just see real faint silhouettes of trees? Yeah, it's, a, it's about 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, all right. Yeah, it's not a full moon, but there is a moon out. Yeah. So it's getting morning. Well, we made it. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Now, it's still pretty early out, and I'm thinking I'll start making a cup of coffee. There's a lot of dew on the grass. I can see it out there. So we're gonna let the sun come up a little bit more. We're gonna lay here for a little bit longer. Then we'll go ahead and get a cup of coffee. All right. Well, we're all broke down. I've got the uh, water boiling for our coffee. And I'm going to have one of these uh, Ad Mountain House Adventure Meals. This is scrambled eggs. So that's what we're going to have this morning. I've got my spoon already. But that water's getting ready to boil. I think that water is boiling. I'm going to set my spoon down here. Set the eggs down. Check on this water. Oh, yeah. That's boiling. So I made enough uh, for the eggs. And for... Oof. Oh, that's hot. And for uh, myself for a cup of coffee. All right. So thanks for coming along. Really appreciate you. And uh, if you didn't uh, hit like or subscribe, why don't you go ahead and do that right now if you, only if you enjoyed the video. Uh, I enjoyed making it and I appreciate you coming along and I appreciate, um, you watching uh, these videos and uh, so the cemetery go out and remember go over and check out um, Stealth Camping Alliance uh, 
and and watch some of the videos there they're really really good all right well remember it's just one adventure at a time and it's tony random adventures 2.0 we just gotta wait for our ride <laughs> all right so i hope she remembers to come get us all right well you take care have a good one all right I'm going to finish these eggs. <laughs>